With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So guys, here we have a question. A copper wire is wire is bounded on a wooden frame whose shape is that of equilateral triangle. Right. Equilateral triangle means all the sides of a triangle are same. So a copper wire is bounded along the sides of equilateral triangle. Right. So now if the number of turns of coil per unit length of a frame the same then self inductance of coil is given by the option decrease by factor of 9 root 3 decrease by factor of 9 increase by factor of 27 or increase by factor of 3 so self induction first of all self induction is a process of inducing emf that is electromagnetic flux right emf and thus inducing current in the coil whenever there is a change in current so the direction of induced emf and induced current is given by lenz law so for a solenoid the value of self inductance is written as l equal to mu naught n square pi r square l right where l is equal to coefficient of self induction coefficient of self inductance right n is equal to number of turns per unit length right and uh, here r is donated by radius of radius of wire right and L is length of solenoid right so we will be discussing some, some cases here so in case 1 when the length of one side of triangle is L right so perimeter will be 3L as here the length will be A the perimeter of equilateral triangle is 3A similarly 3L the number of turn per unit length will become number of turns per unit will be n1 upon 3l equals to n1 right let it be equation 1 so self inductance that is l1 will be equal to mu naught n1 square pi r square 3L right that is number 2 equation so similarly in in case 2 when we are discussing about case 2 here L2 is equal to again mu naught n square upon n square pi r square 9L that is fourth equation so according to the question the number of turn per unit length remain constant which means we can say that n1 equals to n2 right because it is given that the number of turn of the coil per unit length of frame are same right so in self inductance keeping the value of n1 and n2 from equation 1 and 3 
we will be having l1 equal to mu naught n1 square pi r square upon 3l right therefore l2 mu naught n2 n2 square pi r square upon 9l right so comparing these two values we are getting l2 will be equal to 3l1 right 3l1 right so now here we can see that self inductance increase by 3 times which means option 4 is correct for the given question for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today